Hi folks, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com and today we're going to be comparing three different types of electric kick scooters to help you figure out which one is right for you. We'll be looking at the Segway 9Bot Max, the Gyrocopter Flash 3.0, and last and not least, the Unagi Model 1. In this comparison review, we'll look at the design of each of these scooters. We'll talk about some notable features, what really separates them from the competition. And then we're going to get right into my personal experiences of riding with them. And then I'll try to help you figure out which one is right for you. So without further ado, sit back, relax. You know how we do here. Get your popcorn ready, folks. And cue the intro. So let's go ahead and start with the design characteristics of all three of these e-scooters starting with the Segway 9Bot Max. It has a very sturdy build construction to it with premium materials. It's really designed as a commuter vehicle. It has a 350 watt motor and large 10 inch shock absorption tires. Now when you combine this together, what you get is a long and smooth ride on various surfaces. The large standing area also makes it really comfortable for long rides and the charging block is also built right into the scooter itself so you only need to carry the power cable not that actual charging block itself which makes it super convenient when you're out and about. In contrast the Gyrocopter Flash 3 also sports a 350 watt motor but it does have smaller 8.5 inch rubber tires. Now, like the Segway 9Bot Max, they are tubeless tires, so they are burst proof. And the platform is slightly smaller than the 9Bot, and the charging block is not built into the scooter itself. So you will have to carry that separate charging block wherever you go, if you do need to get it charged. The Unagi One has the most compact design of the three. It sports dual 250 watt motors and solid 7.5 inch rubber tires. Now this reduces the scooter's ability to absorb shock. There's really no shock absorption in the Unagi Model 1 and that's gonna be one of my biggest criticisms of this, but it's one of those trade-offs that you gotta make if you want this compact design and it's super light and we'll talk a little bit about that, about that in a bit. It does not have the charging block built in so you will need to carry that charging block separately now you may like that feature or you may not like that feature it really depends on your preference because when you don't have the charging block built in it's obviously going to be a little bit lighter but you're going to have to carry that charging block with you in the event that you need to get it charged when you reach your destination now let's talk about another very very important consideration that's the folding mechanism and also the weight and this is important because at some point in time you're going to have to carry this kick scooter, whether it's inside, you might have to go up a couple of stairs. Maybe you're taking on public transit onto the bus or onto the SkyTrain because I live here in Metro Vancouver and that's what we got. And that's exactly what I did with one of these scooters. So the folding mechanism, the weight is a very, very important consideration when choosing an e-kick scooter. The 9Bot Max has an interesting kind of folding mechanism. You kind of unlatch it from the front over there and then it folds down. The handlebar actually connects to the back of the tire through this little kind of plastic slot which clips in. Once it clips in, you can then hold it with one hand. Now the Gyrocopter Flash 3.0, very, very similar in terms of its folding mechanism to the 9Bot Max. Same thing, you dislodge it on the front, the handlebar collapses and then attaches to the back of the back tire. From there, you can, just like the 9Bot Max, carry it with one hand. In contrast, the Unagi Model 1 is a little bit different. The folding mechanism, same thing in the front, you kind of you know, dislodge it so it folds down, but it doesn't attach to the back tire. Basically, what it happens is you can still carry it. Somehow, it just kind of locks in place and it doesn't move. Again, the, the designers of this are, 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 have really come up with a great intuitive folding mechanism design and basically overall scooter with the Unagi Model 1. Um, very unique in terms of its design. There's really like nothing else on the market today. Now, in terms of the weight, the Segway 9Bot Max is the heaviest of the three weighing in 
at 41 pounds. Now, for myself, carrying it, it's heavy. I can carry it. I can take it upstairs. But disclaimer, I also weight train like five days a week. And I've been doing this for several years. So I am kind of trained. I think females are going to have a hard time trying to carry this for a long period of time. They might actually want to carry it with two hands. Uh, in contrast, the Gyrocopter Flash 3, only 26 pounds. So very considerable difference in terms of the weight. And when I'm carrying both of them side by side with each hand, you can definitely feel a big difference in the weight. Now, the Unagi Model 1 is the lightest of the three, weighing just 24 pounds. This, my friends, is super light. Boy, boy, when you fold it and carry it, it is not that troublesome. You can actually probably carry it for a, a decent period of time without any fatigue. And if you do, you can always switch arms. Uh, I really, really like that. Between the, the Gyrocopter and the Unagi, very hard to tell that difference. Only two pound difference between the two. But again... The Segway 9Bot Max is the heaviest one of the three, and that's just one of the compromises you have to make when the charging block is built in right into the scooter itself. Uh, that weight you're going to be carrying, and I guess it, the motor and the fact that it has 65 kilometer range, uh, those come at compromises, and that compromise is in the weight. Now, last but not least, let's talk about the speed and the range of these three e-scooters, starting with the Segway uh, nine bot max it has a whopping 30 kilometer speed which is pretty much the max speed that they will allow you to go on cities with the kick scooter and it has a whopping 65 kilometer range folks 65 now you just gotta do the math here think about it. if you can go 30 kilometers per hour and you have a 65 kilometer range essentially what that means you could ride the nine bot max for two hours straight just boogie it for two hours straight you'll get about 65 kilometers in terms of your, your range before you need to do that charge. That is just remarkable. And that's why I really think this is a commuter uh, vehicle for a lot of people that can replace your car and get you to your destination. 30 kilometers still, pretty, pretty, pretty serious speeds. The Gyrocopter Flash 3 goes a max speed of 25 kilometers and a range of 28 kilometers. So significant reduction in terms of the range. There's a five kilometer reduction in the max speed and me doing a back-to-back -back, you know, testing, I can feel that difference, especially when you're going down like a straight line. If you have somebody with the, the Segway and you guys are, are both going like as a race, you start to see how they can take off and, and get some distance off you with that five kilometer extra speed. The Unagi Model 1, very, very, very impressive max speed of 30 kilometers. Goes just as fast as the Segway. And look at this compact design. It's just remarkable that it can do that. The range is only about 25 kilometers. So it's significant. But if you're in the city, you know, 25 kilometers, that's a long distance. So... Um, if you don't have to go super long distances, this is definitely something worth considering, especially when you get that speed, you know, that, that, that compact form factor and that weight, man, it, the only comp, the only, the only con really is that it comes at a premium price. So you kind of get what you pay for. You're going to have to pay uh, a pretty penny if you want that, that, that stellar design in an e-scooter. So the big question is, which scooter should you get? And you know what? It really, really comes down to what are you going to use it for and what is your budget? If money is not an option, say you're getting rid of your car and you're like, you know what? I, I need a commuter vehicle. The Segway 9Bot Max will not disappoint. You are not going to be disappointed by the riding experience on this scooter. Like I said, the, the standing platform is large. You can boogie. If you do get it, one other thing I recommend is you're going to want to get that lock. It comes with this optional lock. I feel like they should just like give it to you with the scooter because because of the 41 pound weight, it's so much better to just lock this up. Say you go to the grocery store or maybe you see you, you're, you're on the, you're taking a bus or you got a, a bike lock, just lock it up. Don't have to worry about it. And then it's just going to be a great transportation vehicle because you don't have to worry about carrying it once you get your destination. The Gyrocopter Flash 3, that is like your middle of the road, everyday type of scooter. If you want the most bang for your buck, 
the best value in terms of the scooters, this one is for you because it's not that expensive. Like right now when I'm talking right now, it's like Black Friday and it was like, man, I think it was like 370, 380 bucks. I'm like a huge discount for it. And I think that if you can get it on sale for something like just a little under $400, you're going to be very, very happy with what you get. I just wish it was five kilometers faster. I don't care about the 28 kilometer range. Just give me five more kilometers in the max speed and I would be a very happy, happy fella. Now the Unagi Model 1 really caters, I'm going to say this, I think it will cater towards women just because of that compact design. It's a little bit lighter. It's smaller. I think they would prefer that out of the three in terms of just carrying it in and out of a home. Love the max speed. It is fun. However, the only stipulation is know the kind of surface that you're going to be driving it on. If you have rocky sidewalks, like an old neighborhood and it's bumpy and you got like roots coming into the sidewalk and you're going to have to ride it, then it's going to be a bumpy ride. However, if you got like dedicated bike lanes, you know, like nice asphalt or even, you know, compact gravel, I think you can probably get away with the Unagi Model 1. It's just, it doesn't absorb shock very well. So you got to take that in consideration. Like I said, there's always trade-offs with all of these kind of e-scooters. So you just have to see what, what kind of trade-offs can you live with and which ones are deal breakers that you can't live without. But it does come at a premium price. So you're going to pay for that design, for that really cool form factor. Um, but I think if you do get it, you're not going to be disappointed. It's a fun ride. Again, even with all three of them, you just get a lock. So wherever you get your destination, lock it up. Carry a backpack so you can put all that stuff in there. You're going to have to carry a helmet anyways unless you don't want to get a, a ticket. So uh, yeah, you make yourself a little kit if you're going to get one of these e-scooters. Well, folks, I hope this kind of helps. Let me know which one you like in the comments. I'm very curious. You know, there's three, there's so many choices out there. It's just like, how do you make a decision? And so hopefully this will help you. And if you did, please let me know. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you like this kind of content, handy, con I'm a freaking handyman. Like who doesn't want handyman content? Uh, once again, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, make sure you go to my website, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, and let me know which scooter is right for you, which one you like, and why. Andy Barrar, signing out, see you again next time.